everyone i'm just doing a quick video for you just about my dividers that i've made um they're my um vellum transparent sort of translucent dividers um so this is the template that i've created um and i've just got the um the section names down here in a small font um, and the reason why I put four on the same page is so I can print this four times rather than creating loads of separate dividers. Um, so I've just got like a light grey outline um, and then just these little triangles in between. It's quite easy to do um, if, if you, I've just used Microsoft Word to do this so it's, it's nothing too technical. Um, uh, I unfortunately can't really show you how I did it um, just because it requires me using two hands and unfortunately I don't have the setup to film that um, but it, I basically just do a rectangle these are all separate lines um, where I've done the V shape so it's one line here one line here um, you you basically sort of um, measure the the height of your page so this is your page size um from here to here so you'd measure your page size and do a box and then you would add your little tabs on the side with separate lines um so i hope i'm explaining that well um it is really hard to explain without showing you but obviously as i said i'm not able to do that at the moment um, <clears throat> so what I do is obviously print these out, um, I leave them to dry um, for a couple of days or a day or so just so they don't smudge when I cut them out. Um, so it's usually a good idea to leave them to dry especially if you're printing on vellum. So I'm going to film the next part of this video in a couple of days and um, when they're all printed out I'll show you how I cut them out and um, do the um, tape on the on the tab. So it's the next day now and my um, dividers are printed out on um, my vellum sheets. Um, so what I'm going to do now is cut them all out or I'll cut one out to show you. So as you can see, they're just to a page and the lines are really, really, really light. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to see them okay. So I just use um, one of these scalpels and a metal ruler um, it is going to look like I'm doing this sideways because I am. Um, it's a funny angle um, but that's just how I've got the uh, camera set up. So. Is quite thick vellum so it looks like it might need more than one um, score. There we go, that's a little bit better. Um, when it comes to the tabs, sorry if the camera wobbles, as I said it's a funny angle. It's quite hard to cut it because there's a shadow. So try and do this in good light. Um, and try not to put your fingers on the ink because it can sometimes smudge just from the oil in your fingers. So I'll put that bit to the side for the moment. So I just trim all the way around. You can do this with a paper trimmer, just the, the outside bit and then use a craft knife for the fiddly bits. So I'm actually going to use a little pair of scissors for the, for the tiny, tiny parts. Okay. 
easier to cut this part so all we're doing is removing the tabs that we don't need and we printed several copies of this so that means the next one that I cut out I'll cut this tab out the next one this one and the one after that this one so then you'll have all of your tabs that you need so that's our divider um i'll obviously hole punch that um my hole punch is not to hand at the moment so i can't do that at the moment but um then i just use this sellotape it's um invisible matte tape from sellotape okay so i've just got my piece of transparent tape here and i'm going to place that over the tab just to strengthen it and to protect the printed text so then it doesn't matter if you put your fingers on it and um, then i'm going to sorry about the noise um trim that down it's a bit of an awkward angle sorry <laughs> so the easiest way to do it is probably like this. And then I'm just going to trim a little bit of that just so I can fold it over. protect the back as well and then you just smooth it down and that's done so you've got a nice sturdy tab there um, and that's it really so I've got 12 dividers unfortunately so I'll be doing that 11 more times <laughs> um, but it'll keep me busy um, so I hope that was helpful if you've got any questions please comment below thank you